I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with a really special guest, Mike. Hi, Mike Mackay, Manager of DevNet Events. You also manage the presentations, the presenters. What do you look for when someone wants to present in the DevNet Zone? Uh, Cisco Live US this year, our message is heavily oriented towards automation and so most of our content and our demos is focused around automation. So the content, you need to have a good presenter with a good history uh, and it needs to be in line with uh, what Cisco is pushing and what DevNet is uh, focused on for that event. So we're talking about education yes. and not everyone can make it to the DevNet Zone in person. So what is your message for people that want to get access to this training but maybe can't make it here in person? Uh, lots of opportunities. We have, of course, the developer.cisco.com. There's the learning labs on those. Uh, there's a whole lot of opportunities. DevNet Sandbox, you can use the Sandbox for when you are looking to play or develop something and you don't have the product yourself, you can use the Sandbox. That's available 24 by 7 as well. Lots of opportunities inside DevNet for education. But the DevNet Zone is super fun. Yes. You love it. Yep. Tell us some of your favorite things about the DevNet Zone. I think we've got some really exciting demos this year as well. Uh, we've got a, right behind us, we've got a, a journey. You go from using viral, you simulate a network, you push it, then you test it using PyAts, and then uh, using streaming telemetry, you're able to monitor it and repair it. And then we've got uh, other demos with Meraki and security and IoT. It, it's a, I think it's a great environment this year, and I think we've got some really awesome content and really awesome sessions. So the question of the week, engineer, developer, or both? I started off my life as a doing computers and office automation. Then I did software, and then I went into networking, and then I did software because uh, I worked out you couldn't really do networking without software. Um, so I think both. I think there's two tracks, network engineer, software engineer, and in the middle you've got that um, DevOps, net DevOps, et cetera, piece that sits in the middle. And I think that's the direction that uh, a lot of the engineers that we see now need to step into that because the world that we live in today is just too complicated. From a, from a networking perspective, it's too complicated to do it using CLI and other tools. You've got to know how to automate and you've got to know how to do that. In order to do that, you need to be a, a need to know a little bit of software development, but in order to know what you're trying to do, you also need to know your domain expertise, whether it's uh, networking or data center. So the combination of the two. So I don't think there's a straight answer. That is a very timely message. So we're going to share this video with all the links so people can get access to all the content. Thank you, Thank Mike. You. Thank you.